Nobody is now out in theatres. This is the story about a man who is out to protect his family. However, the catch is, he's a nobody. But by a nobody means he has some secret past of being an absolute badass and the one person you never ever want to meet in life. How could this all shape out? I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I felt about this film. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of Nobody? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down in the comments below. Smash that like button while you're there as well. And don't forget to click subscribe as well. And yeah, let's jump into this review. Perfect. Okay, so nobody, look, <laughs> I mean, what did I think of this film? I really enjoyed this film. I thoroughly enjoyed this film quite a lot. It is entertaining as hell. So, so good. The best way I can describe it is now if I was sitting there and I was talking to someone and they were like, yo, did you see that nobody film? What do you, you think about it? Like, can you tell me what, what like, it's going to be? Because I want to know. The best way I would be able to describe it to him, I'd be like, if you like John Wick, if you like Rambo, if you like Jason Statham films, if you like any of those action films like that, you're going to love this film. Because that's exactly what it is. It gave me, when I was watching it, it gave me John Wick vibes, it gave me Rambo vibes, it gave me the Jason Statham films, it gave me all those mixed into one. And I could really tell that they they must have surely taken inspiration from them. Because there's so many things about this film with the same elements of those films in it. With its own unique story. It's absolutely fun, entertaining, bonkers, metal to the wall. It was so fun. Look, it's got a pretty generic story. It's basically, the story is, there's a man, he fails to defend his family in a break-in and then goes out, something happens, and then the Russian mobsters are after him. Bam, and we get our main storyline of what's happening. But yet, he's like John Wick. He's got like this cool-ass backstory that you don't want to meet this guy. He's basically the boogeyman, like John Wick is. He's the last person you ever want to meet. So it's a pretty generic story. It's not a really, like, dive-deep story. So if you're looking for, like, a Nolan-esque, Tarantino-esque... Spielberg-esque story where you can dive right into this convoluted story like elements where it's like yo this is what's happening you need to remember what's happening here so that later on down the track you're gonna get the twist and everything it's not that type of feel this knows exactly what it is and it delivers exactly what it's promising which is fun dumb action brilliant look with a generic story it's not always the worst thing you can have a good film with a generic story, as long as it's executed right. And I think for this particular film, the story being generic was executed perfectly. So I have no issues with it. I know some people could have issues with it, and that's fine. If that's how they feel about it, that's for, that's for them. For me, I don't care. Like, yes, it's a generic story, but I can move on from that, and I think it was executed quite well. The action. I mean, we cannot talk about the action in this film because it's bonkers, man. It is so cool. Some of the kills are bloody creative. I'm talking really, really creative. And it was great. It was refreshing to see because when you have watched these John Wicks, these Rambo films, these Jason Statham films, like these high action films like that, you've seen a lot of unique kills and different kills. So to not be able to see some some kills that I have never seen in film before was awesome. There's also those moments where things are happening and when the action's going down and the kills are happening, you're a bit like, oh, that would have hurt so much. And there's some like awesome epic moments, some, oh, it's just the way that they did the, some of the kills was so good. I was so happy to see that, that them take a unique route and creative route of giving us these unique creative kills. And that's what I want to see. I want to see different ways to kill people. Why not? That's what we go and see these type of films for, is for that stuff. And I thought it was great. Absolutely great. Look, the performances, I gotta talk about. Doc, 
from Back to the Future is in this. And he is hilarious. He is funny. He is just bonkers awesome in this film. I loved his character in this film. He plays the father of our main character. And he was just awesome. I loved every moment he was on screen. He was brilliant. The main, the main actor. I have to give it to him. Look, when you see him, you don't really see a badass guy. And I think that's the vibe they were going for. It's like, this guy doesn't look like he can do much. But then, he's actually a complete and utter fucking badass. And it was awesome to see. And he was brilliant. He was phenomenal. I enjoyed every moment he was on there. I thought he was great in the action sequences. I thought he gave it his best as well. And they did give us... Look, his character does get some development. And I really felt for his character. Especially in that first part. When they're building him up and stuff like that. And you see his struggle in life. How he's like trying to juggle things. And things have happened in his past and that. That are affecting his marriage. Affecting things with his kids and stuff like that. And it was really, really heartfelt. And I really felt for the guy. And I was like rooting for him. I'm like, yo, man, this guy's, ha this guy's just, he just wants to be left alone. And like you can see when things happen, something in his brain just ticks. And like, it's like John Wick where it's like he gets out. But then it's like once he's in, he's all in. And it was brilliant. And I enjoyed every moment of that. The other characters, I mean, they're not too much development, so I didn't really care too much for him. Mainly him and his dad, I really cared for, and I thought it was great. The villains of the film, look, they're pretty generic mobsters, you know, bad guy. There's not too much development in them. It's a very similar, so they're very similar to the John Wick ones. Where it's like you got the mob leader and then you got the, the brother, sons and stuff like that. And like, yeah. So it's pretty generic in that way. So the villains, they don't really dive too much into the villains. But, I mean, they're just there for this guy to just go mayhem and give us some entertaining kills. So I don't have too much problem with the villains not being too much in this film. But that is a weak point. I have to say that. The villains are a bit weak. And I didn't really understand too much about them. And I would have liked a bit more. But hey, it is what it is. Look, and also, I had another negative. I have to say at the start, when they're doing the build-up to him and that, it is a tad slow. So the pacing of it is a bit of an issue. Especially when you get into the second half of the film. And it's just bonkers to the wall. And it's just boom, 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 boom. Just... No time to breathe. We're just going and going and going and going. Where at the start, it's very, very slow. And it's a real slow burn. Build up, build up, build up. And then it's just like, bam, 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 bam. So the pacing at the start is a bit of an issue. But overall, look. Nobody is exactly what I wanted. And exactly what I thought it was going to be. A fun action film. With a generic story. With some awesome kills. And that's all I wanted. And that's all I was expecting. And they delivered that. And when a film does that, that's all I care. That's all I care about when I'm going into these films. So, if you're looking for a deep dive character study or story in that, it's probably not the film for you. If you love the John Wick, Rambo, Jason Statham sort of films, action-packed films, you're going to absolutely love Nobody. I guarantee it. So, for me, I absolutely enjoyed it. Entertaining, brilliant had a ball with it. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of Nobody? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe while you're there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.